Awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another gear review. I'm here with T uh, Evan from Team Lax Goalie Rat and Lax Goalie Rat sponsored athlete Shane Carr from Michigan. Gentlemen, let's review some gloves, huh? We're here to talk about not this glove. This is the older model. We're here to talk about the brand new Maverick glove. Evan, talk to me about that glove a little bit. Hold it up. Give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a taste of what we got going on. But how, how do you want to start this review? Yeah, so we're looking at the brand new uh, Maverick Max uh, goalie glove that was launched uh, in the fall of 2020. Uh, this is the top of the line um, glove and protection wear for Maverick. Um, and it's probably one of the uh, premier goalie gloves you can buy on the market um, today. Um, so the first thing that we want to look at um, when it comes to a glove, especially when it comes to goaltending is protection. What protection is it going to provide you uh, when you're in, in the cage and is it going to keep you safe? And when it comes to goaltenders, the first thing that we always look at is the thumb. Uh, so with Mavericks goalie thumbs, they have the torque lock. Uh, this is the second iteration of the torque lock, um, which is a hard plastic that covers um, and encompasses the entire thumb area. And it has two flex joints. Um, that flex with uh, your thumb uh, to provide you a good range of motion. Um, and Shane, uh, what are your sort of uh, initial thoughts? Um, you've had this glove for about almost a year now. Um, what do you think about it so far? Um, I mean, this is probably glove. Um, I've been a fan of Maverick since probably my uh, middle school years. Um, these are the best gloves I think you can buy. I know uh, some of the other gloves like STX, um, they have the big plastic part that comes over the top of the thumb. I'm not a huge fan of that. I think that, uh, where do you get the inside this thumb here itself? So this torque lock technology, I think does a good job combining um, like maneuverability with the thumb. So like taking in an impact. And I'll be honest, I think it's also just the cool looking glove there is for a goalie. Like, this isn't very noticeable. Like, the whole class of stuff doesn't really look that cool. And, I mean, also Maverick just does a good way with, like, the colorways and all that stuff here. I love it. I love it. Hold that one up. So how, how do you have yours customized? Because that's kind of cool. You got – so you got like, a different color on yeah. this little band right here, different colors down there. You got the Michigan M. Got yeah, the I got 41. the embroidered M. Got my number right here, too. You do that for all the gloves, uh, goalies yeah. and – regular got a couple different got the maze cup here too um Ooh. i mean yeah we get kind of pimped out here at michigan so i love it and we got we got this pair right here which is what i'll be wearing this weekend because we're wearing our white unis and we also have a blue pair for when we were away and right now you know you gotta wear the right gloves that uh, everyone else is wearing so oh make sure thing. that the right color right make sure that the right yeah, color gotta make sure they're the right color all right now, have you, so just to be clear, in the older model too, they have the torque lock uh, thumb yeah. too. No upgrade there, but it is, I think, to your point, to your guys' points, I think it's the best. I really do in terms of thumb protection. There's other good ones, but I, this is, this is my go-to right now is, is this thumb. Have you taken a, a direct blast, Shane, right to the thumb? Yeah. I mean, if you take a, a direct blast, no matter what glove you're wearing, it's going to, it's going to hurt a little bit. Um, I think when you get to this level, the biggest thing to do is to have put some add-ons onto the glove. Like the glove itself isn't going to do. So what I have, I have this little thumb insert right here that I made with my athletic trainer. And it just goes on right here and then kind of just put it on like normal. And it takes a little while to get used to. But kind of like when you put like the thumb in there without uh, any, there's a little gap between your thumb and the torque lock technology. And I think that's what that impact um, in that space is what really like uh, does the most damage. So I think like putting those inserts, some other guys like to wrap a bunch of like cast material around the thumbs too. I think just doing a little extra never hurts, uh, especially when you get into high school. I think that's probably where it really gets the most important and especially in college because I mean, thumbs are so easy to break and you're out for a little bit when that happens and it's just so unfortunate. 100%. 100%. Now, when you set up, just, just out of here, when you set up with your top hand, your thumb's like exposed. You're not like a, you're not like Yeah, a no, I'm like coming in right here, like shafts up here, it's come around. So like right here, it's like this head on uh, is what I really get the most. And 
when you come underneath, sometimes you'll get like this hit down here. And um, I see a lot of injuries on the lower part of the thumb and it, it's such a good job of protection all the way. Down. It's not just the top of the thumb, it's all the way down and kind of into the top part of your palm, palm here. So that's, that's a really good point. Yeah. This plate runs like all the way down there. So yeah. that's really good protection there. Evan, what else we got? Yeah, so the biggest change or the biggest difference when it comes to the new line of the Mavericks Max glove is in the fingers. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, they have this new technology, which um, they are calling Aniform Ridges, uh, which is a single piece of plastic um, that uh, forms over the fingers um, that um, they're molded into one piece. Uh, so there's no stitching or fabric uh, that is joining those knuckles compared to if you look at uh, Damon, if you can hold the fingers up at your glove, um, those are pieces of padding um, that are stitched together. And so what this is going to do for you, is going to provide you a lot more flexibility and range of motion in your fingers because the, uh, the padding will allow the glove to form with your fingers. Um, so it provides a really, really comfortable feel and a really, really maneuverable field uh, when you have the glove in your hand. Uh, so Shane, how did that, that feel? Like you had been using, uh, I think you were in the M5s last year. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when you transition into this uh, uh, type of finger, which is similar to uh, what STX has in their uh, Surgeon uh, RZR player line, um, what, what were your kind of thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, I was a fan of it since the beginning. I think it does offer a lot more protection, just like the number of pads you got here. I mean, I think in the old one, it was like maybe two or three pads per finger. And like that just reduced the range a lot. I mean, when you're wearing it, you really don't feel any restrictions in the hand at all. And like, there's a lot of emphasis on goalies on that thumb protection. But you got to remember, like when you're wearing the glove, it's the type this is what's going to get hit the most really when you drive your top hand, especially inside, you'll get a lot of, uh, a lot of damage to gear coming your way. Um, so just the ability for this to kind of take a lot of that impact, um, has been really good to me. I mean, um, taking like a step down right to your hands, never good, but it's, uh, reduces it a lot. And I think this new technology has done a lot for that. And also I think it looks a lot cooler too. I mean, that's style points for that too. <laughs> anamorph anamorph technology yeah. is that what we're calling it aniform oh aniform aniform, <laughs> aniform. all right yeah. um i'd love to be on maverick's marketing team we pick up some new pads we need some new names for these pads guys the aniform technology go with it um all right what else we got so the last piece when it comes to protection is you look at the back of the hand um so they have triple density foam um and rigid inserts um throughout the back of the hand um, in impact zones um, to provide you with some additional protection to that back of the hand. Um, pretty standard across the gloves. I don't know if there's much difference uh, when it comes to that and the um, last year's model. Um, but overall, Shane, when you look at protection in this glove, um, what are your overall thoughts when it comes to it? Um, I mean, just everywhere you look at this glove, you kind of just get the sense that it's going to protect like very sturdy up top and up here you can kind of see it's like i think this might be the triple density foam up here um it really covers all the way up to the uh, top of your hand um so like when you come out of cage and take a slash to the hand really absorbing a lot of that shock into the glove um which has been really good for me and like one thing i'll point out is just the way this uh glove is made i think i got this maybe i think i got this at the beginning of the season this one but problems with my old gloves in the past, um, I might have a few lying around here, but you will start to get tears. Like the seams will start ripping, especially in the palm, especially around the thumb area. Um, it's been a big problem for me, but I've kind of noticed that just the the level lo, the level of quality with this glove has been really high and it's been able to take a lot of wear and tear throughout the season and it hasn't failed me once. That's good. That's good. Cause these things cost a pretty penny. I mean, I know you get them for free with your team, yeah. but uh, you know, if you're watching this review, thinking about buying them, they're not cheap. Right. So the fact no. that they do last uh, is great. Evan, you want to talk a little bit about the price? Is that a, is now a good time to throw that price out there? 
Uh, yeah. So the price for these is, is $180. Um, yeah. You can get them at uh, lacrosse monkey. Um, they come in white, black, or gray. Um, if you're purchasing team gloves, um, so if your high school team or club team is getting team gloves, they also do come in custom colors, yeah. uh, like Shane has on, on his glove there. Um, but there's a minimum, I think of 12 gloves you need to order. So it's not really practical for, uh, one goalie to get, um, but they still come in really nice colors. I got, I went with the black. It looks really nice to me. Um, the one thing that I did want to talk about before we wrap up is um, just the comfortability. And mm -hmm. Shane, you'd kind of already talked about the durability uh, when it comes to this glove, but um, it comes with Maverick's Axe Wave uh, Palm, um, which is really, really nice. Really feels really comfortable when you have it in your hands. Um, they've also added um, some grippy inserts um, at the tops of the fingers um, and the thumb, as well as inside the palm there. Um, and they added these like kind of weird little padding areas um, into different areas of the uh, the glove. Um, and then the other piece that um, they've added um, is they have what's called flow cool breathability, uh, which are these big plastic inserts you can see in the glove, um, which mm -hmm. provide um, a lot of ventilation. Um, so it's going to keep your hands cool on those warm days. Um, so Shane, when you have this, uh, a glove in your hand and you're wearing it like when it comes to comfortability like how does it feel in your hand i mean this is probably the most comfortable glove um you can buy on the market i mean you touched on the suede um i remember when i got it that was like one of the first things i noticed like just like being able to put it on like some of the old gloves in the past like they're a little bit more gritty you got like the mesh and it doesn't always feel the nice like when you're gripping gripping the stick like you don't feel like maybe you hold on a shaft real tight. Like you don't feel that a lot. Um, and like it does take a little bit to get used to because it is pretty top tier. Um, so it is a little boogie. I, I think the suede is, but it does its job and it holds up very nice. You said that like extra padding too. It's kind of like, I think what I alluded to earlier with like how there's no more tears. I think that has definitely helped um, with that. But like just overall, um, the breathability, I know I play a lot in the winter, so it's starting to get warm here. It's 80 degrees today here up in Ann Arbor. So I think this is the first practice where it's like above 70. So like I'm starting to understand the uh like how it does in the like the the hot weather, but in the cold it does its job and um it's very durable and I love it. Yeah. I have no no complaints really. I mean any glove you'll get, it's always gonna have some tough problems with the thumb, but I think on the market right now, this is one to get. Yeah. And so the last couple of things that I just wanted to touch on is they have an adjustable cuff so you can change, uh, the, uh, they have Velcro pieces here. You can change how far you want your cuff to spread. Um, and it also does have a, a magnetic, uh, handcuff at the back here. Um, so it snaps together. Um, so you don't have to worry about, uh, if you've had a Velcro, uh, cuff in the past, uh, it snagging on your Jersey or your stick. Um, and yeah, like overall, um, it really feels like you have a, a really nice luxury, uh, product when you put this, put this on. Um, but Shane, were there any sort of drawbacks or things that you didn't like about the club? Um, yeah, I'd say I just touched on the thumb. I think when you put it on, you'll like realize for the first time you can move your thumb around. And I think this is the next step that goalie gloves have to evolve. Cause I think when you put, um, your hand in the glove i think the thumb has to have some sort of stability where there's no movement no like wiggle room i think when it's in there good when it's in tight and there's no it can't move around i think that's when it's the most protected so i think that's what maverick should do moving forward but other than that i mean i'm a big fan of the club and that i was putting them on my stick uh, i mean that's a big thing i do um even when you're in lockers go into away room lockers the magnetics uh magnets help because if you got a metal lock and you stick it on the wall and it sticks there when you put all your gear up. But I mean, other than that, like uh, this is top of the line. You can't go wrong. If you're going to invest in it, I know it's a pretty penny. I'm lucky to have gotten to the point where I don't have to pay for it. Um, but like, it's going to last you a while. I remember in high school, I think I had the pair that uh, Coach Damon has right now, a pair of white M3s. And I had that for maybe two or three seasons. And I played with that 
until like my whole uh, my hands are sticking out of the gloves. So um, they're going to last you a while and they'll, they'll keep you safe. That's for sure. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Let's talk about sizes real quick. So um, I, I got, this is a medium 12 inch. I'm five, eight. It fits my hand really well. What, what do you got Shane? What do you, what do you got there? This one I have right here is a 14 inch, but my other pair is a 13 inch. Um, these are just the ones they got me. I'm kind of a, a bigger fan of the 13 inch. It feels a little bit more on my hand, but uh, the 14 inch still like does me justice. I love where, um, and I can't go wrong with it. Okay. Evan? Yeah, so the gloves come in a small, medium, large, and extra large. Um, the big thing that I've read up on and I've noticed putting on the glove, I have an extra large 14 inch here. Um, and I find that it, it does fit a little bit bigger. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind when you're when you're thinking about picking up these gloves and you can't necessarily try them on, um, is you may want to consider going a size down than what you would normally get. Um, but even with the 14 inch, it still feels pretty comfortable in my hand. Like I, yeah. I, it doesn't feel like too, too big. Um, but that's just something to keep in mind. Yeah. I'm six foot, like 200 pounds. So I'm like kind of normal size. I think if you're like somewhere around me, go with like the 13 inch and you can't go wrong. Dude, I'm five, eight. I'm normal size. You're, 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 you're larger size. <laughs> A little bit bigger. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, that'll do it. Um, unless Evan, you got anything else or are we, we good? I think, I think we covered it all. No. So again, uh, just want to give a huge thank you to lacrosse monkey, um, yep. for helping out with these videos and helping provide, uh, the gear for us to do these reviews. Um, if you're thinking about giving this glove a try, which, uh, I believe all of us would really recommend, uh, you can go and purchase it there. Um, again, it's $180, um, and you can buy it in a black, like I have here, a white, um, or a gray. Um, so yeah, Shane, just final thoughts on the glove. Um, yeah, if you're going to invest, uh, in something that's going to last you a while and give you good protection, you can't go wrong with the Maverick glove. Um, best looking glove there is best protecting one. So, um, just try it out and it'll last you a long time. All right. Check out Shane this weekend, making some saves with them, with them white gloves, huh? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right.